At first, it's surreal. My phone went off, and it was a text from my son. It was one word. It said shooting. It's right there. Like, that came happened here. Felt like um, you were watching a movie. Everybody was in a state of shock. Nobody knew what to do. Like, what's the right thing? Should we continue? Should we cancel? Should we cancel the season? How do we get back to normal after something as tragic as what happened? In this community, it would never be normal again. We needed something to get us back into reality. We, the board, thought it was best to let the kids go do what they need to do and get out there and play baseball and forget whether it's for an hour and a half or for the rest of the night or whatever. We thought it was the best thing to do. There was a definite maybe we shouldn't and we actually talked with the city and they actually said to us to go ahead with opening day. It was the first opportunity to see people we hadn't really seen since then and it was just beautiful to be here to see all the family members, all the kids, all the community members coming out and just reminding all of us of what a special close-knit community we have here. The opening night last year was the first step. We must have had 1,500 people here. Baseball was the last thing on my mind really after that happened. I was more concerned about the community. The timing of it was right for the healing process to begin. It turned into a really special night. It was almost therapeutic, a sense of normalcy. You know, one of the first things that comes together as a league, did you hear Joaquin Oliver was one of the victims? Joaquin Oliver was also known by Guac, by his friends. Every player wanted him, every coach wanted him, just to remind you that you're out here for the fun of it. It's not so serious, and that's how he was. The community came together and decided that since he spent so much time on this field and so much time in this league, that to honor his memory by naming a field after him would be the most appropriate thing to do. To me, that's what this league is all about. It's all about the people that, that run this organization, the people that volunteer. We're a family-oriented community. When times are tough, we all come together. You want to play for your community. You want to show everybody else in the whole world that we're strong and we're not going to get down. It just proves how resilient Parkland is. My son still comes out here in umpires. I love that. You know, he, he just doesn't want to leave this field. I never thought we'd play more than a season, and here I am the president of the league, so it means a lot. We're continuing to be there for one another. We continue to have a strong sense of community here, and Little League continues to be a strong part of that fabric. <laughs>